Hello, it's Wednesday the 28th. I'm FX Plu and this is the CurrencyTransfer.com market update. So plenty's been going on since we last sat down together and sterling is looking a little vulnerable at the top end of the trading range. A farmer deal triggers profit taking yesterday. The dollar is dealing with multiple drivers at the moment and the ECB council members seem to largely back Draghi's policy. So yesterday we saw sterling sell off a bit, uh, seeing a correction to the recent rally that the current he's enjoyed. The trigger was the Glaxo deal, the announcement of a farmer deal where GlaxoSmithKline is going to buy the Swiss company Novartis for a little over £13 billion in a cash only deal. Nice to have pockets that deep. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's an immediate sale of £13 billion worth of currency, so there is still plenty of time for CEO Emma Walmsley to pick up the phone and open an account. I'll be waiting for your call. Um, but it was enough to trigger a, uh, a bit of profit taking which took the gloss off the recent sterling rally. Cable fell down to 140.66 but has moved higher overnight back over 142. But at quarter end usually there is more volatility as the asset managers rebalance their books. Um, and so the true direction of sterling uh, at the moment is likely to wait until after Easter to, to take their positions. Also, we got Q4 uh, growth data from the UK tomorrow. So again, it's unlikely that we'll see any traders entering new long positions ahead of the long weekend. Watch this space, we'll pick things up on Tuesday. Over in the US, we have core personal consumption expenditures today. Is that interesting, you ask? I don't know, probably not, but the reason I mention it is because apparently the Fed see this data as more important than CPI data. Uh, more closely watched because it's believed to be more accurate and more real time than CPI. So there, interesting, told you so, you're welcome. Broadly speaking, the dollar is still under pressure. You know, Trump's current focus is on getting China to rebalance their trade surplus. Uh, plenty more fun times ahead in the trade war, no doubt. We'll keep you posted. And over in the Eurozone, any chat there was of the Eurozone monetary policy tightening slightly uh, seems to have been pretty short-lived. Firstly, the ECB governing council closed ranks on the subject. And then the data. The data showed that economic activity is generally not robust enough. Um, and, and so perhaps, you know, the market foresight there was slightly out of focus. So for now, that's that. Subject closed. Unlucky. Uh, Euro dollar fell from recent highs down to 123.72. And this provided a slight boost to the dollar index, which returned uh, to, to recent highs, touching 89.63. Uh, yesterday. We'll keep you posted. Anything of interest, we'll, uh, we'll tweet or, or put it out there to you. Any questions, pop them in the comments below and we'll be sure to address them.